Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see that how can you enable or disable Windows Defender from your PC. So for those of you who don't know Windows Defender and are getting an error, it is basically a Windows security program like a free antivirus program that is provided to you by the Windows itself. It checks for viruses or uh, malicious softwares, that's the malware and automatically uh, take some actions to block them from harming your PC. Now this is a good thing, then you must be thinking that why do I need to disable it? So the answer is that uh, there are many cases wherein it blocks some genuine third party apps from installing onto your PC and if you want to work with these third party apps then you need to disable your Windows Defender for the time being, install that app and then you can re-enable it. So in this video we will see the both steps how to disable the Windows Defender and once it's disabled, once you have completed your work with the disabled Windows Defender then how can you enable it. So let us just start with the process which is pretty simple. All you need to do is go to the start button, right click here and go to settings from here. Once the settings option or the settings window is open, you need to search for update and security which is the last option here. Just click on there, this kind of a window will open. Then what you need to do is just go to windows security. So let's just go to windows security. Here you will see the protection areas. The first area that says is virus and threat protection actions recommended. So it means that my windows defender ran on my PC. There were some virus and threats that it found and now it recommends me to take some actions on it. Okay. So let us just click on here. A new window will open. This is a current threat. So there is no current threat. And uh, lastly on 17th January there was a quick scan which didn't found any threats. Okay. So if you see uh, virus and threat protection settings, no action is needed. Security intelligence is up to date. All of it is up to date. Okay. Now what you need to do is in this virus and threat protection settings, you need to disable the Windows Defender. So just go to manage settings. Here the first thing is the real time protection. What it says is locates and stops malware from installing or running on your device. You can turn off the setting for a short time because before it turns back on automatically. So it turns back on automatically. So let's just turn it off. It will ask you that whether you want to do it. Let's just click on yes. Gives you a warning that real time protection is off leaving your device vulnerable. And you will also get some notifications from Windows security to turn it on. The next option is cloud delivered protection. You can just turn it off also. Then both of these options, once they are off, then the Windows Defender would be off. At that point in time, you can actually make changes. Like if you want to install some of the uh, devices, the, uh, you want to install some of the third party apps or use some of the software, that Windows Defender is blocking you from doing so, that you can do. Now, once you have uh, done all those changes, once you have uh, installed the apps, the very important step is to re-enable it. So how do we re-enable it? This is the same process, the same place where you want to come. In the real-time protection, just turn it back to on. So once you have turned it back to on, then all the warnings will go away. And uh, again, the Windows Defender is uh, enabled. Your system, your PC is now safe. It is now being uh, monitored with the Windows Defender. Then uh, if you want, uh, a quick scan is what you can do. It is not going to take much time. As you can see, last scan took 7 minutes and 31 seconds. So once you re-enable the Windows Defender onto your PC, just it is recommended to a quick scan just to make sure that none of the viruses were there, none of the threats were there. In the meantime, the Windows Defender was turned off. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.